kind of weird. <laughs> but here we go. Hey guys. Is it too far over? I can't even tell, honey. Here, hold that for a minute. Here, can you put this in my bag? I feel like it's ish kabibbled. Hey. Huh? They aren't heavy enough? Hey. Hmm. Just hold it, honey. Thought it was heavy enough, but. Hmm, gimbal's kind of being weird today. Give me one second. I don't have it correct. Sorry, guys. We are at Trader Joe's. I was just trying to... Oh, that's why it wasn't pulled all the way out. Never mind. It was my fault. Now we're good. All righty. Hey, guys. This is a Trader Joe's haul. Just FYI on the title. Trader Joe's shopping trip, I mean. So, yeah, we did. We've been up since, like, 10 um doing some errands and stuff and we just had lunch over at hawkers it's like a downtown area we're at trader joe's trying to see if we can find some good um keto things um that we can eat because <laughs> i haven't done we haven't done a keto um shopping trip in a while oh this is i'm sure not oh 16 grams nuts they have a lot of good nuts honey but we buy a lot of her, um, which one do we get? The macadamias, yeah. They don't have it here? Oh. Sorry. I love how you just make up what I said. <laughs> Costco did not have any Oh, got it. Rob said Costco, there are some avocados. The candy bars, yes, are here. We definitely want to show you guys that because that's important. Obviously, your fruits and vegetables and Trader, and then the cauliflower is here. Um, vegetables you have all here which is great um, you know there's specific things as we come here for like the the roll-ups Ooh, the coffee smells amazing um, creamer no not fat free you need full fat everything half and half no then they have heavy cream no Rob got excited at the chocolate half and half bye Luna um, all right, there's no heavy cream. I do need heavy whipping cream. They don't have heavy cream. What are they doing to me here? Um, we forgot to pick it up. We got the cold brew at Costco, but I totally forgot. I forgot the heavy cream from Costco. I know you went. I forgot to tell you the heavy cream because it's cheapest there. Honestly, you get the big one like that for like five bucks. And at the market, it's normally more expensive. Hey, Davey. Hey, guys. We're just doing a quick little, um, shopping trip because they do also have those cauliflower pizzas in here but i was telling people that it was still too high so um obviously meats all of that i mean trader joe's is a lot less inexpensive than like whole foods you'll definitely pay more at, at whole foods and stuff um no today's saturday i'm off <laughs> i was streaming till like 4 a.m <laughs> Yeah, today I'm just, we're just staying home and it's kind of my day off, but tomorrow I'll be back. Yeah, not today. I've had like six days straight of streaming. So today is more like just a little Costco shopping haul. Yeah, not today. Um, Rob likes these little, really delicious, the Volpe treats for, you know, because he's a, he loves the keto. He's a keto guy. So these are the roll, rollatinis. These are fantastic. It's mozzarella. And then you have one with prosciutto mozzarella and prosciutto ham they're really really good so yeah lots of meats and deliciousness going on here um they just oh and the cauliflower rice we have to show you guys that really quick yeah definitely watch the halloween party yeah we were up yeah household stuff errands um we had a good time and we yeah and wine yeah we went to i yeah, had a little cheat meal but we went to hawkers h-w-k-e-r-s you know tim and jen always talk about that it is a wonderful place downtown here in or downtown we're in downtown orlando right now this is the mills 50 district by the mills 50 districts like really nice shops and uh really cool places to eat and drink and have snacks and so if you're ever like in downtown orlando definitely check it out it's so good hey fiddle girl oh you had the funko awesome yeah i know i stream six days a week kelsey five to six days a week yeah we're doing yeah taking shopping jill um we just we haven't done a trader joe's stop in a while i should have 
gone live at the at the place I just wanted to eat but I took a bunch of pictures I'll definitely post that later the food was fantastic you know it's called Hawker's Street Fair it's here in the Mill City district of uh, downtown Orlando it's not far from Disney I'd say 15 minutes it's good like it's all different Asian cuisine like they're sharing portions it's all super good what kind of cheese is it good I like cheese I never met cheese I didn't like cheese is so keto which is great <laughs> Um, I went to look at the pound today. The pound had a free adoption event. There was just all the dogs. We found a couple that we like, but of course they're like, they were already adopted. Go figure. But you know, we're just, we had a free event. Or, um, we went to three different um, rescues today, like the Pet Alliance at both branches and then the actual like Orange County, like the pound pound. They're right next to each other. So we checked out all the puppies and see what's going on. Oh, yeah, Rob's so ready for Horror Nights, actually. But all of this cheese, you know, you can eat cheese on keto. Cheese is your life. You know, eat fat to lose fat. It's a beautiful thing. Um, but all of these are great snacks that you can take to work. Those real roll-up rollatinis are excellent, too. Um, we just kind of, like, get specific things here, mostly from Costco. But these, yeah, I mean, all they're sold out. Because these are, he likes this brand. Like, We've got the roll-ups from other places. He doesn't like those as much, but you know, it's all your taste preference and stuff. We should actually go to Costco too because that's pretty much where we get a ton of our, our keto stuff. Yeah, we'll just keep looking. We'll just keep looking with the pups, you know, because we miss the pups so much. Um, but we picked up her ashes today. We picked up um, Shalo's ashes today. So we were just like, you know, she'll let us know if it's the right pup, the right one. We even had a couple of pet shops, but we're like, nope, there was just not any puppy, like, calling me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm looking for another Aussie, probably, same size. Um, like, small? Like, what size are we looking for? 10 to 20 pounds. 10 to 20 pounds, like, you know, in that 20 pounds and under range, just because they're easier to take and if we're staying on property or something like that, you know what I mean? Um... That's why we were looking for another Aussie. I contacted a couple of breeders online. Some of them are ridiculous. They wanted like thousands of dollars. I'm like, you people crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard. It's very hard. Yes, I do love it, Lisa. So I love all the puppies, Davey. Yeah, we want small, like I love the breed. No, too big, too big. 20 pounds and under, unless you have like a mini husky. <laughs> we saw a couple of huskies today. Uh, a couple of little tiny ones, but the breed is just so good. I mean, we're just in love with the breed. But I mean, we're op we love all puppies. Um, there was this little mutt that we fell in love with. He's two years old. He was tiny. He was like same size as Shalo, twelve pounds. <laughs> he had a little beard. He looked. We were gonna call him Merlin. I'm like, Merlin's beard. Like he looked like a little old man, but he was only two. But he had a little like he was like a Chihuahua and a Schnauzer. He was adorable. But, of course, he was gone because he was cute and adorable. He was already adopted. Mm, hashtag, ooh, that's a big, big bottle of rosé. <laughs> Anybody like the rosé? Yeah. I mean, mainly if you're drinking on keto, yeah, you'll stop burning fat until you metabolize alcohol. But, you know, you got to treat yourself every now and again. Treat yourself. Do what you got to do. Um, yep, the candy bars. Here are the candy bars. Rob's hiding. Oh, she's going to take all the candy bars? But this is those infamous candy bars, guys. I'm talking about if you want to make it through keto in the next um, few months. Um, that's it? They don't have the one with the... Um, huh? They don't have the one with the almonds. Uh, the dark chocolate one? No, but it's just dark chocolate. There's dollar, they're dollar ninety nine. This is them. Simply Light, sugar-free dark chocolate, and then the milk chocolate. They're like... 14 but it's sugar alcohol because i know like thomas delauer says it's half right so if you take the difference between the i would go it says 14 grams per serving sugar alcohol is nine but I, they say if it's sugar alcohol you do the half but these are really 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 good um i do i love the pound i wanted to take them a lot of big big dogs um you know i wish i had the room for that kind of thing but we don't have room for a pup that big um, but this is delicious. I'm more a dark chocolate kind of girl, but I love that, that milk chocolate. It's extra creamy and delicious. And yeah, see, basically, it's net effective carbs is one gram. It's 50% cacao, but it's not bitter. 
Oh, there it is. Here's the other one with the, oops, sorry, the dark chocolate with almonds. And yeah, this one's two not effective carbs, but it's this brand and it's cheapest online. It's a little bit more expensive. So just go to the Trader Joe's near you. Or if you got to take a little trip, just like I, I bought like 20 of these. I just like stockpile and like buy the whole lot because it's $1.99 if you buy it here. I am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, just the best thing are those like low carb diet. That's the best chocolate I've found. Honestly, I love it so much, but those are the chocolates guys it really made me go through like it we survived we survived like the first three months really really Ooh, how about the sparkling water do you have anything good here it's just regular oh green apple dough hmm zero carb sparkling green apple no added sugar zero calories 79 cents now sold it might be like those Walmart ones, Great Valley ones that I was talking about. They're so, so good too. Oh, sorry, Davey. Oh, yes. Hey, Brady. Oh, Bradley. Okay, Bradley. Oh, that's awesome, fiddle girlie. I did both of the rescue, 79 cents. I want to try it. It's probably like the Walmart one. That was 69 cents, but it's this green apple. Let's see if it's better than the Fiji apple. Yeah, Rob's not big into the sparkling water. Um, let's look at the cauliflower rice here. It's also like, if you guys don't want to invest in the ginormous bag, or you're, you're by yourself, you're not cooking for you and the fam, the small individual packages are fantastic here. Um, has everybody gone savvy to my cauli rice? Yeah, here we go. Rice cauliflower, $1.99. Stir-fry rice cauliflower, too. What? Oh, that's new. $2.99. That one's rice, cauliflower, stir fry. Okay, we gotta check it. Oh, it's got peas and corn, babe. Can't eat it. Mm, it's not bad. It has two fiber, so it's five. Five. It has five carbs. It has five carbs because it has corn. That's the end piece. But that's not bad in a pinch. Because it's seven minus two, because you're dying. Remember, you're counting net carbs. So seven minus two is five. There's three sugars in it. It's from the green peas and the corn. Because, you know, you can't have peas and corn, but that looks really good. But you can just make it yourself. The only, the only thing is, is it's, it's fairly expensive here. At Trader Joe's. For the little one, yeah. I, I it's, still, it's two bucks for this. Yeah, two bucks for the little one. I mean, just to try the, the it. The one at Costco is seven ninety nine. And yes. Hey, Alice. Yeah. I mean, to try it out. This is 12 ounces. Yeah, that's 12 ounces for $1.99. And definitely the Costco one is the better deal because it's a big bag and it's $7. And I cook the whole bag when we cook it. That way we have it for the whole week. Because you can't have peas and carrots, which I love peas and carrots on keto. So I can't. Um, ooh, Brussels sprouts. Yes. Asparagus. Yes. Green beans. Yes. Spinach, of course. Just no corn. Um, nothing like that obviously but i wanted to look at the pre-made pizzas and that's the thing because it's pre-made crushed garlic that's frozen oh okay that's different hey sushi me oh thanks lisa it's keto shopping hey ruby yes oh the walmart yeah i know i'm in love lcp with those walmart brands i need to go hit up the walmart i drank it all when i was sick i bought like a ton of them drank them all so good i tried all the flavors but the fiji apple reigns supreme i love that one so much 18 grams of carbs well yeah you always gotta read the label what is it french onion well yeah of course has the um croutons you can make it yourself if you make french onion without the bread and the cheese on top you're good you can make it yourself or you know i mean this is the bread section silly we can't eat but i wanted to show them the pizzas because they're like like you said insidious they look like oh cauliflower crust you know i'm like mm -hmm. how many carbs is in it it's still 24. yeah it was here it's at the end it's at the end it's trying to trying to horn swoggle us into a false sense of security just buy the heinz no sugar added ketchup i don't know if they have it here but that's what i use it's only one carb because mama likes her condiments i like ketchup coffee syrup you say it's probably no it's not sugar free do they have the, you know, I have the cauliflower pizza, but yeah, they had it here. Hmm, maybe it's in the front. Yes. 
Huh? Probably sold out. All the pizzas are like flying off the shelves. But the they should have one. Oh, it was here. Yeah, the cauliflower vegan and gluten free. It's only three ninety nine. But the thing, hey Lisa girl, I'm getting hungry. Hey Disney Dan, we're doing some ketogenic diet shopping today. That's why we're on the channel. Um, we haven't been at Trader Joe's in a while to show you guys. I wanted to show you guys what you know little things we pick up here. Seventy nine cents for the green apple sparkling water. We're gonna try that. And these chocolates were definitely what helped us go through make it through the, especially the first three months i had a severe sugar addiction if it wasn't for these babies i wouldn't have survived because i need i needed a little something sweetie after every meal that was just me that's just how i was um you know i it's some um, these are dull yes honey little sweetie um and then these little volpe snacks rob loves and eggs eggs are so keto we should go to costco next actually and go just even walk around. I just need to pick up some heavy cream, but we can show. What is that? A Kringle? A Danish Kringle. Hey, Caroline. Doing some Trader Joe's today. I'm like, you know what? Let me just check it out. We just ate downtown and went to Hawker's. You guys need to go there. I'm telling you. Is that coffee you say? Okay. <laughs> I never made coffee I didn't like. I just feel it was so good milk oh no they have cream i wish they had cream hang on <laughs> just a dollar coconut cream isn't bad oh no that's real sugar oh they got fake sugar Dang. no sugar it is <laughs> those um syrups too we should go to the tj maxx down the street so i need to get one of them like Right, like on the corner. I'll take you guys right there because there's a TJ Maxx to show you those skinny syrups that I'm talking about that I put in the coffee because that's a game changer. Also, like, that's all we're getting here. That's pretty much what we get here is these three things, like type of things, just the candy bars. Yeah, it looks like we're being like piggies right now, but the Rolatinis. Yeah, those are the only ones that Rob likes because there's a, those five pack you didn't like too much from Costco, right? He doesn't like the taste of those. You can't, yeah. you can't leave them open. you got to do something with them. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. These you, are individually yeah, wrapped. Yeah, individually wrapped for lunches. He puts those in his lunchbox or just have them with you as a snack. Uh, meat and cheese. Or you can make your own. Just buy your own ham or whatever meat that you want. And then whatever cheese you want, make your own roll-ups. Hard-boiled eggs I always carry. We have a pre-made, um, pre-packaged hard-boiled eggs at Costco. So I wish I got a Costco, too, because that's probably the best place to do it yeah i try to know keto you can do anywhere you could do keto walmart we need to do a keto walmart um run too like just to show you like you can shop keto at a walmart and it doesn't have to be pricey or anything crazy it's saturday though so little bananas at trader joe's everybody's doing the urns oh look they're neapolitan jojo's uh, Oh, that's awesome, Ruby. Good job, girl. Oh, that's true, Sushi Me. I'm glad Walton Mart. That's right, Walter. Yeah, we'll be doing. I'm be doing DHS sometime soon. Uh, what am I doing this week? I'm trying to plan my schedule. Um, maybe on Wednesday or Thursday for sure. I'll oh, still take in your meds. Okay. Oh, no, you're good. I was just admiring the, the name. I do I can't eat it, but fruit. Can't pass up the coffee, girl. It would be cheaper if you own the farm, Nancy. True, girl, true. And then how many, are these all the same? Yeah, there's different flavors. They're $1.99. Yeah, free coffee, coffee samples are good. I love it. No sugar, though. Mmm. I got a blend in the car. Coffee is delicious. It's very good. I think it's Ethiopian. Mm. Hey, Disney Dan. We've got Sean and Alyssa, LCP. Oh, Bradley. So we're in this downtown area. We're just hanging out. Um, there's also, this is down the street from Hawkers. This is like downtown Orlando Winter Park, Mills 50 district. It's got all these like super nice, like not trendy, but like really kind of cool restaurants. Um, 
Yep, there's a Shake Shack right here. But you know, in a pinch, hot dog and a hamburger place, you can just eat without the bun. I mean, but Shake Shack's really pretty and it's right on the lake. The view on the other side is gorgeous. Um, yeah, it's a nice day so far to do errands and stuff. Definitely really good. Hey, Reagan, we're just kind of taking you around like house home stream today. Just hanging. Oh, Joe is still here till Thursday. So, yeah, unfortunately, we can't go to Cali like this time of year. We don't really. Um, this is a very busy time of year for us in Orlando. Horror Nights is about to start. You know, SeaWorld, all the parks have like their big, you know. Orlando is in Halloween now, so it's it's hard. Maybe next year. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Um, you know, I yeah, would love to do that for sure. But we'd have to, like, save up for, like, a Cali trip. We haven't done that in a long time, but that would be great. I definitely, like, I mean, Tanya was just there, too. I know she didn't stream that much, but she was. Um, who else just came from there? A bunch of other people just came from there, too, so... Yeah, but I would love to someday. I mean, we just have to plan it out. All right, sorry, thank you, babe. Ooh, oops, I know, I'm still drinking coffee. Oh, can't get in the car. Oh, uh, all righty, hang on, guys. I'll put the coffee in here. I'm going to the TJ Maxx on the street so I can get my little... I was going to show you the skinny syrups. All right, take your time. Aw, thanks, Jill. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, he's there. So, I'm like, there's other... It's pricey. I mean, it's nice that, you know, he's able to um, pay for trips like that, you know. And, and, mm, yeah, they got bigger channels. And a few Sorry, he's listening to audiobook. <laughs> there we go. Just, um, Rob's feeling, how are you feeling, Rob? Heidi wants to know. Fine, Fine better. It's just a little, yeah, so green. Oh, it's Florida's very green. That's true, Bradley saying. You know, that's the first thing I noticed too when I moved back. It's like, wow, it's not brown or red. Vegas is brown, it's very desert. Florida has a lot of trees, trees and bushes. Very it's dessert. great. It's very dessert. Yes, dessert, dessert. Yeah, I mean, I want to. Definitely, Horror Nights would be great. Um, doing awesome, Reagan. Gro yeah, grocery shopping in the rain is no fun. Houston's, uh, they used to be. No, not Houston's. I'm thinking of the other. Yeah, no, there's a lot of different. Um, these are all like kind of like one off. Obviously, there's some chain places like the Shake Shack. But I mean, look at the view like right back there. That's the lake. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Like, this whole Mills 50 area is, is really nice. I mean, I just love living in Florida. You kind of got the best of everything. You know, you have a little bit of everything. Weather's brutal in August, but, I mean, it's sunshine pretty much every single day of the year. Can't really complain. Like, yeah, I love eating at this Shake Shack. This is the view of the lake. Can't swim in it. Just, just you know, look at it. It's pretty. Rob's breaking into the... Breaking into the candy bar. I have no idea what you're talking about. Gotta give it a taste test. Um, yeah, gotta let everybody know what it tastes like. It's delicious. Make sure it's not poison. Make sure it's not poison. Oh, we did the dog shelters. I didn't stream at the dog shelter. You're not allowed to video. It specifically said, well, the pet stores didn't. The one pet shop said no photos or video. The pound was having a pound event today. We did um we did all three shelters today. So we've done up north and then we did the ones here in orlando the pet alliance so that's what it looks like for the milk chocolate it is absolutely delicious it's just a regular square very creamy delicious doesn't taste weird or chalky it's good and it's got like two net carbs you're like if i, I honestly if you're craving chocolate especially girls you know you need your chocolate in your life if it wasn't for those bars couldn't have survived that first five months of keto because we didn't cheat but we had these bars and that's what really really helped us because i needed to break that sugar addiction bad but the first three months i would come here and rob would laugh at me because i'd buy like 20 20 bars and it just have like a stack and so, then hide them all throughout and the hide them all through the house um the milk chocolate i think no the dark chocolate with almonds but i got a a piece without any almonds 
<laughs> it's got almonds. It's good. It's got two net effective carbs. So why not? At least that's the one good candy bar that we can eat on keto. I mean, I'm saying it's... For months, I was wandering around the house and opening cabinets and randomly finding chocolate bars. All over the house. Wow. Yep. Hey, Todd. We're just doing some... Uh, we're just doing some keto shopping, showing you guys through downtown Orlando. And we went to the pound... Well, the pound and two pet alliances today just to check on the, at the corner. The, the very... No, at the very end of the street. At the end of the street, like... Oh way down there this guy needs to pass me. oh oh i don't want her going okay there's nowhere to go but this is all winter park it's like winter park mills 50 district this is kind of like the nice part of downtown they have really good restaurants and such there's a movie theater right here too exactly girl jennifer has been on keto there's a lot of them on keto sweet tooth can be a disney villain true oh heidi missed you on wednesday but i'm glad you're feeling better oh, there you go Hey Pam, hey girl, I know, it's so, such a short, um, he went to go get yours, awesome Nancy, but it's, a, it's, I'm telling you ladies, this is what's gonna help with that craving. Adjectives is a fun store. Oh yeah, I can go there. That's a little antique, like antique, not antique, but it's like, um, a bunch of different people sell stuff in there, I do know they had one right here, that's no, cool. Like an antique shop. Yeah, it's like an antique shop, I can go look, I like that. Oh, the bar method, the I heard. Angry bison the hangry bison oh man we just ate at hawkers i was just telling everybody that hawkers is a delicious tim and john talk about hawkers all the time it's a um street food asian street food a little bit from you know vietnam thai there's like everything the food was so good like everything yeah it's right here that's perfect we can just go what? across huh i thought you said it was on the right no i thought we were going here to adjectives right Adjectives is on the right, the Marshalls is across the street. So, you know, either way. You're killing me. You're okay. killing me, Smalls. <laughs> well, Papa Yui, it's up to you. And, and unlike that kid who was wearing the shirt, I know where that's from. Right. Of course. A lot of Thai food down here. A lot of, this is probably much like Colonial Drive. There's a Ruth Chris. I still haven't eaten at a Ruth Chris in like years. And, you know, it used, to, it used to be the thing back the in the day. Price. It's overpriced for what it is. There's so much like better steak places now for sure. Yeah. I don't know about better, but, but you can definitely get more bang for your buck yeah. and just more ambiance and stuff like that. No candy and junk. Yeah, exactly, Lisa. So, you know, whenever you're having a craving, having those candy bars in the house, and yeah, I would hide them all over the house because. Yeah, she did. So I wouldn't eat them all in one sitting. And then I'd be like, where did I hide them all? I don't even remember now. And then it was like a scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt. Whee! Whee! Where's the candy bars? It's like, I need it. But yeah, because otherwise I would eat them all in one sitting. Brio, they have in Vegas and we have here. I know. This is like a little kind of cute little area. Blue Cross Blue Shield. Mm. You can do it, people. Saturday, you know, a lot of people are doing urns and the shop. Is, is this shop is so weirdly laid, or the, the center is I so know. weirdly laid out that I don't really know where. I, I don't know. REI. I love REI. Every, during, Publix. Publix, for shopping is a pleasure. Best supermarket ever. Broken Egg Cafe. Oh, yeah, it's one of those, like, breakfast places. Um, First Watch is really, really good, too. Must have been over there. No, I don't see it said adjectives and then we didn't see it hmm. oh. maybe we like that store there's a bunch of different adjectives like branches of them is it in here then no do one of those signs say adjectives no god these plazas make it hard Publix. Publix. we love Publix. we need to do a Publix keto haul but that's easy i mean you could keto anything Thing in your regular Kroger's or um, you have Vaughn's, Safeway, Safeway the Giant, what, um, they don't have the Giant anymore, Piggly Ralph's. Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly is like a 7-Eleven though. Um, just like saying Piggly, Piggly Wiggly. Wiggly, yeah, no Publix for you. Oh no, girl, no. Publix is the best. Publix is the best. Sweet uh -huh. tea. There it is. Oh, there it is in the corner. All right. <laughs> Mike, it's got to be in a little. My shower door my shower door hey margie Alyssa. 
Yeah, the dark chocolate sometimes you love. You have first watch. Oh, Kate has first watch. Yeah, they're a really good breakfast place. Even, like, breakfast is so easy to, like, keto-friendly for sure. You're in the back, babe. Yeah, this is the, the it's on the other side. That's what it was. We needed to go down the street. Or we can just park here and walk around. It's really not a big deal. It's right there. There's an opening, so. Well, there's not really any parking here anyway. I know. Well, I just got to go right. Now we know where it is on the back door to the adjectives uh it's like a place where they have a bunch of different vendors that sell antiques or cute little home things and it's just fun but right break during right before the hurricane last year we were, i was trying to find a propane like a mini propane um the propanes what do you call it burner but a small individual and like you kick a camping stove because walmart was sold out and i'm like I don't care. I'm going to pay extra money to go to REI. They're sold out, too. Because it's a, better, a little bit better quality. And I can just keep it and have a little camping stove, you know, a little propane. And those little propane cans, gone. Like, all of them. I'm like, they just, it just, everybody buys everything out right before a hurricane. So, you're just like, ugh. But it's good to have when you don't have a hurricane going on. Because you can actually purchase it and have it ready just in case. Because that's the hardest part when you don't have power. How are you going to cook? You know, especially if your whole, like, your your town doesn't have power. So, how are you supposed to? <laughs> the hangry bison, it's really called that. H-A-N-G-R-Y. That's what I said. Hangry. Oh, we've been to the movies here before. It's Winter Park Village. There it is. Adjectives. Not today. Today is a Aaron's day. Yeah, today is a home vlog. It's like a home, home stream. Just kind of like this is what we do when we're not at Disney. <laughs> yeah, we'll just have to park. It's okay. We can walk. Oh, they went all the way to North Carolina, Sushimi. That's awesome. I know they're moving up in the world. A family of found Piggly Wiggly lives in Charleston. Oh, that is awesome. Too far north for Publix. Gotcha. Yeah, I think Piggly Wiggly is a super... It is a... It's like a 7-Eleven, right? Kind of thing. No, we don't have a Piggly Wiggly here. It's more up north. Uh, it's the south, but, but north of like us. But I like saying Piggly Wiggly. Yeah, we just like to say Piggly Wiggly. It's cute. Yeah, we're going to... We're planning all of that. We've been... You know, we always talk on our thing. We're trying to get our streams planned. And I'm like, I'm fine. I'm ready. I'm wearing sneakers, though. Got my UFOs on today. But oh, when do I not have them on, though? <laughs> They're always on because it's important to be comfortable. To be comfortable. Yes. Chocolate, chocolate is your life. We can't stand there too long. Yeah. Because we have chocolate in the car. Oh, I'll bring that with you. So he's already opened it. You have shopping, too. Oh, yeah, you got to be back um, for sure. Hey, Bradley. You got to be back. Uh, Margie says hi, Rob. Hi. And everybody's Pam, Pam, too. Okay, just walk in there real quick. That would just make a quick run through. Oh, so hot still, though. Aaron's, Aaron's just running around doing errands today. I'm like, oh. We'll just go live, do a little keto here, a little... Running around, do errands. I wanted to show you guys those candy bars super bad because I'm like, God, let's talk about those candy bars. Oh, just want one piece. I'm good. I'm so stuffed from eating at Hawkers. We had uh, bulgogi beef skewers, phenomenal. Fried pork belly, phenomenal. The pad thai, what? chicken, amazing. Uh, we did like a curry, like a yellow curry with shrimp. It was spicy for Rob. It was fine for me. Um, what else we get? Oh, the dumplings, fried dumplings, so good. Yeah, I mean, honestly, they were right. They always talk about that's, that's their favorite little, like, Asian street food, like, authentic. I'm like, and it's got good reviews on Yelp. So I was like, okay, let's see if the hype is real. And it's real. It's really good. Mm-hmm. They had bulgogi skewers. Oh. I had to get in there because Rob was done ate them all so fast. I was like, two skewers gone. I'm like, no. This is Winter Park Village. Winter Park is a really nice neighborhood in downtown. It's like, you know, I think median home prices here are like expensive. <laughs> Not even rain. Mm-hmm. Um, 
No, these, these I go barefoot, but in the winter, I also have the Avia, like the no-show liners that I get from Walmart. They come in different colors. They actually have it in the fluorescent color. So in the wintertime, I can wear them with socks. Mmm, so fun. Mmm, smells good. Ooh, so cute. A little kind of antique. Yeah, my cool home decor, unique. Oh, that's cool. Decorative bottle. Mm -hmm. It's a cool wine rack. Yeah, just something cute and unusual. I myself is strange and unusual. <laughs> Oh, I think you need them in your life too, Kate. Oh. Juggling pins. Juggling pins. Mm. I do wear the, I wear socks with them sometimes. Like, and you can, you can. In the summer, I don't. I'm just too, too hot. But you can. And like liners, I wear, in the wintertime, I will wear um, liners with the UFOs. But I get the Avia liners, they're the fluorescent, they come in green, orange, like those are the socks that I get there from Walmart. You get like a five pack, I think. Very cute. Got all the chandeliers. Very cute. Just cute little stores, lots of silver. And it smells really good in here too. Cotton. Oh, they're even selling um, designer, like, Louis Vuittons. Yeah, because that's expensive. They're still, like, 600 bucks, but, like, more vintage Louis. Wow, that's cool. Oh, it's a dog carrier. Yeah, it's still, like, a 1000 bucks though. But I guess authentic Louis Vuittons, if you want to get a gently used one. Got some Chanel purses, too. That's cool. Who knew they had you know some Gucci? A little Gucci purse. Don't show your wife, <laughs> right? Seriously. But I mean, they're, oh, look at that Louis suitcase though. Wow. Yeah. This one. It's more like Jeffree Star kind of range. <laughs> That's expensive. Cute. Oh. Exactly, Heidi. We just take her. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I, I've heard about the Ibotta app. I didn't. Um, I I haven't used it. I should have. I should do that and see get some you know money back on things like you said. That I use Ebates though religiously. If I'm shopping online, I always go to Ebates first and then shop even on Amazon. And I use Amazon so much. So I definitely, Ebates is probably one of the best things you can do to get a little bit of money back for almost every single line store. So this is amazing. Six million dollar man. You never know if you can find little Disney things or anything. Oh, it's the state of Florida out of crown molding. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. But I do use the, yeah, I do use Ebates. Ebates is really good. I'll have to link it down below. Because but I, I always go Ebates and whatever online store. Ebates, Sephora, Ebates, Ulta, Ebates, whatever. Always, because, I mean, it's always, you know, a couple of extra bucks. It goes right into your PayPal, too, which is fantastic. So, you know, it's just every, every month you get, you know, whatever you're going to buy online anyway, because you're going to go on Amazon or Ulta or Sephora, any store, do go to Ebates first. It's free to sign up. It doesn't cost anything. Sorry. Free to use. Oh, no, you're good, Lisa. Sorry, girl. Yeah, if you're busy, you're busy. Oh, no, where it calls you? Well, Louis Vuitton is, yeah, I'm like, that's way above my pay grade. <laughs> the only Louis I have is like the fake stuff. Waving to you guys. Wearing my 
Oh, those are big ducks. Or is that a goose? Is that a pheasant? I don't even know what that is. Chicken. There's the stuffed chicken. Cute. Just neat, like neat little things, you know? Little antique outfits. Oh, that's a cute dress. It's cute. Like, like antique. Hmm. It's very like short waisted. I said that's right up my alley. <laughs> Boots. A lot of antique clothing and such. A lot of cowboy boots. Always great to find, you know, fashionable pieces, I guess, that you could add to your ensemble or costumes. You never know. Neat. Right? We should be like in Club 33. It's so fancy. Hey, Joe, how are you? We're shopping today at Adjectives. I slept in, well, I got up at 10. You know, it was a long night last night. I didn't get home till like 4 a.m. Since we <laughs> we were at Magic Kingdom till the crack of dawn. So we were like shopping, shopping. I mean, you know, we needed to go to the doggy pet alliance today and check out all the pups because we haven't. You know, we, they had a free event. Everything was free. The adoptions were free for the pound and the pet alliance today. So people were at least adopting a lot of dogs. It was, uh, was it clear the, the clearing out the shelters kind of thing? Oh, that's cool. It's a very cool clock. Uh, this is our happy place. That's Disney. <laughs> should be a picture of Walt Disney World and then I go, this is our happy place. That's cute. Do small things with great love. I agree. Rescued is my favorite breed. Oh, oh, maybe it's nationwide. Fiddle Girl said that they're doing a free adoption event in Maryland too. Maybe it is for all the shelters today because all the pet shelters and the pounds, if you're looking to adopt a best friend... Check your local pound or, you know, like your county. The dog, the county was the Orange County Animal Rescue as well as the Pet Alliance was right next door. They literally share like a parking lot and it was all free today. So everything was like free adoption. You can't buy love, but you can rescue it. In PA2, it must be a nationwide clear out the shelters day. Yeah, ASPCA. Here, our pet, our, it used to be the, the SPCA, but now they call it Pet Alliance. Well, for us here in Florida, it's now um, Pet Alliance. But I think in New York and other places, it's still, um, it's still ASPCA. But yeah, your local, your, yeah, there you go. Even in Arkansas, that's awesome. Oh, wow. In Canada, maybe, maybe it's a nationwide or nationwide event. Yeah, free dogs. I'm telling you, Walter, all the dogs are free today. Even see, all, other states are also free. They're saying Arkansas, Maryland, that's amazing. So that's, that's good. It's, it's, it was like clear out the shelters. That's the day today. It's, there you go. All you need is love and a dog. Exactly. That's what that pillow says. All you need is love and a dog. But yeah, all the cute ones were obviously gone. They had like a TV screen and you can check to see if the dog was adopted. And they said they usually don't, um, they don't, like, not often does the adoption not go through. So I'm like, dang. Because that little one was cute. He would have come home today. Oh, from um, Lord of the Rings. Hmm. Yeah, these are just, no, we are at Adjectives. This is a uh, here in Winter Park, which is like really nice section of downtown Orlando, Mills 50, and um, we had a nice lunch over at Hawker's, which is a, a Asian street food. Yeah, um, and then we went to Trader Joe's. <laughs> so it's just a little Saturday shopping kind of stream today. Got to relax after yesterday, running around like a crazy person, but it was an epic, epic, Epic stream last night. So good. But yeah, we got some fun stuff planned. Um, like uh, Tanya and 
Beth are planning to do some stuff because they're going to plan their schedule around during the day. And then, yeah, I'll definitely do a scavenger hunt with them. That'll be fun. So, and we still have the four parks in one day event on the 25th. So don't forget that. That's like Friday night is the not so scary. And then that sun, that Saturday is four parks. It, um, yeah, four parks, same time stream. So Michael will be going, I think, oh, Animal okay. Kingdom. Well, not for one person. I won't be at Epcot. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you're gonna do a four park challenge after going. No, to no, that's bananas. Yeah, we're gonna start in the afternoon, so we're gonna be doing. N -A -N -A -S. Exactly, we're gonna do next Fridays for not so scary. Tanya and I are gonna do that, and then the next day is our four park stream, like simultaneous that we were talking about a while ago. We were gonna do. Um, so that'll be fun. I yeah, we'll take Epcot. I think. Tanya's Facebook Magic Kingdom. I'm going to be on YouTube with Epcot. I think Beth's on Instagram with Studios. And I think Mike, I don't know if he's going to be on Twitter or VIP. I'm not sure. But he's going to be in uh, Animal Kingdom. So it'll be fun. Yeah, chocolate is going to be melted. That's what Ruby's saying. Yeah, Ruby went to buy those brownies. Those delicious, delicious brownies we found from Epcot. She found them online on the website. And you could buy like a whole 12 of them for a whole, mass, a whole of massive box but it's cheaper than when you buy it at disney it's five dollars a piece so you get 12 for 34.99 but that's cheaper than five dollars a piece yes exactly <laughs> it's really hot Dang you disney yeah well it's at least we have a treat that if you can't have a cheat day you gotta eat it eat something you can have the brownie Woo! Hotter than Hades, guys. I don't even know what to tell you. <laughs> oh, that's terrible, Lisa. I know, right? I'm like, we should have like a professional do the scavenger hunt. I'm like, if it's a Magic Kingdom hunt, I definitely want in. I said, I'm gonna wear my running shoes. I'm gonna have the power pony in. I'm ready to run. Do a lot of conditioning. I said, I can run all day, all night. <laughs> you know, so it'll be fun. Oh, hey, awesome. Yay, yeah, Emma, remember, we're awesome earsomes. <laughs> but yes, I have a good time at your birthday party. Oh, thanks, Allison. He always is, Christine. Oh, thanks. Christine and Allison said you're such a gentleman. I'm like, he always is. That's right. Yeah. Streams are bananas. B A N A N A S. Whew. But that's good that there's a nationwide adoption event because puppies for everybody. Yeah, they're free. Like free. They're waving. You get a puppy. You, and you get, get a puppy. puppy. And you, you get, get a puppy. puppy. They had such big dogs, though. Like just massive big dogs. There's right? a disproportionate amount of, of pit bulls. Pit bulls. Yeah, there was a lot of like, even like pitties or like those kind of just because they get a bad rap, you know, or they do. They're such sweet dogs. But there's so many of them. I was like, oh, I just want to. My one friend, Bridget, she has three already, you know, and but she loves them. That's like her favorite breed. And a lot of them too, they're waved. Like they have them dollies. What were they called? another organization where they're trying to break the stereotypes and get people to like fall in love with the breed and it was like the all all the time not just today the fees were free and they give like a bag of dog food free dog training like it had a bunch of stuff that you got free if you adopted one of the uh, bully type breeds that you know try, like to get a bad rap you know kind of thing yeah it's a gorgeous little shopping area this is winter park village this is in winter park mills 50 area where hawkers was um, of um, downtown Orlando. So this is kind of the really, really nice part of town. But we like it. It's just, we were happen to be at Hawkers and- Did we drive past the NZN already? No, no, but just, yeah, go to Carcer Street to grab the- That's where I'm going tonight. Sea Salt, you're going to the NZN, yep. I wish I could adopt an Ewok. I'll take an Ewok. Yeah, Emma, Rob's right here. Rema. Tell him about the one that we found that we wanted, but yeah, oh yeah, adopted. he was Somebody already adopted. Oh, he was two years old. Um, he was like a Chihuahua Schnauzer mix. It looks like he was tiny and adorable, but he had a beard that was like gray. Who would have called him Merlin for sure? I mean, he could be Dumbledore. He could be Gandalf the Gray, but yeah, 
Def he totally had a gray beard. He had so a gray cute. beard. It was so cute. It and was it like hung down like a little pointed beard. Yeah, too. like a little pointed beard. Like he was a wizard. Like he was the wizard dog. I'm like, oh, this dog, so cute. But that's what it was. Wizard dog. Could I? Yeah, a porg. Oh, I wish I could adopt a porg. I told Rob, I'm like, we should do the sea life or Madame Tussauds just because, you know, we have the annual passes and we haven't been to those. Maybe I'll have to do that sometime. I was like, that's something we could do together that we haven't done. And the Orlando Eye, we get in for free. Isn't it just straight? Or is it down the street? Oh, we got all messed up again. Okay, left at the... No, nope. nope, we didn't get all messed up. <laughs> I know where I am. Oh, my schnauzer has a beard. They're so cute. That's true, Kate. And they have the skirts. I know the schnauzers have to be groomed a certain way. I had a friend that she is had... It, is it a different colored beard? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I mean, they all have beards. Oh, like, oh. Follow the conversation, Jen. I don't know. Oh, she has two. Oh, Ruby has too many schnauzers. Oh, my gosh. Everybody has schnauzers. Yep. And they have beards, but do they have, like, little gray beards? Little gray they look beards. Like little they all look like a little old men. Yep. She's he so just, he, he was cute. He just looked weird, like, different because he, he was part schnauzer, but the only schnauzer on his face was that gray beard. He just looked cute. He was like the wizard dog. I wonder if Petco's doing a pet adoption. Maybe. I mean, we should check. Is there a Petco, you say? We can go over there. Let's go to Petco. Maybe they do adoption day, too. I mean, if it's nationwide, they should have, like, like shelters and other rescue places. Don't they have an Aussie rescue? Seriously. <laughs> you know? They've been looking. Um, I contacted a lady here on like on facebook i mean and she has a they breed she's in land lakes florida so it's not far um but it seems like you know i know there's like trying to research reputable breeders but it's not I like know, honestly, it's already four o'clock so even if they were doing an adoption event it's rough. there's a sign out too i bet you there is you never know maybe they're open till five. Oh, what does it say adoption event oh 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 open open oh Welcome to the wellness center. There's a puppy in there. Where's a pet smart that they do that? Petco's the mo fancy one. Mm. Petco is where the pets go. Yeah, Petco is where the pets go. That's expensive too. And they had cheap toys and leashes and crates at the at the pound, which was nice. It was the county, like the animal the county. You out, do you think you can go in and come out in less than an hour? You, you go to Home Goods because that's where you need to go. Yes, it'll be quick. I just need to bring my money here. Maybe you're never quick. I'm never quick at the store. Rob's like, can't trust her in there. She's going to be gone for days. Okay. If you take too long, I will call you. Interrupt your stream. Okay. Oh, you're, your brother's dog sings happy birthday. Yeah, they have a lot of cuties. Yeah, so today is a fish day and it is nationwide. Yeah, that that's wonderful that's yeah people free puppies today's the day to go to the pound go or get you a puppy go get yourself a puppy for free go like rescue a new friend go re rescue a new best friend because they have the clear the puppies up you know i'm gonna need the base because if i have to pay i have to put it down for a second oh oh there it is oh, wow. I was like, where is it oh, oh. okay cool can't forget the base because can't put you down otherwise. All right, I'm gonna show you the skinny syrups thing. Does either Marshalls or Home Goods, but we're gonna go to Home Goods right here to put in your coffee. It's like all your keto things that you get at like not random places, but just places. Good to know. Clear the shelter day. I would have taken that dog home in a heartbeat. Why not? Okay, find us some syrup. See, they've got teas and coffees, olive oil, avocado oil. I love me some avocado oil, too. Nummy, 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 nummy. Country kitchen. All right, let's go find these um, syrups. Farm to table. Oh, cute. Six dollars. That's a bargain. That's very true. Mm-hmm. Oh, K-Cups. This is another really good place to get K-Cups. Oh, Starbucks Ranch Roast. I just bought a big thing from Costco, though, like a hundred and... 
I forget the dark roast, but $16.99. See what I mean? There's Kona. There's French roast, a smaller one, but you can get K-cups if you have a Keurig in here. Um, right behind you, somewhere. Oh, it has a list of participating shelters. Thank you, little girl. Thanks, Brian, yeah. Absolutely, the Jennifer, those puppies all need love. There were so many here in Florida, there was just so many um, like pit types, and I, I think they're sweet dogs. I just can't have the room, but I, there were so many of them. Here's the Himalayan pink salt I always talk about, the grinder. You can buy one that's already ground, but this is the best kind of salt to use on keto or just in general. Himalayan pink salt has 84 like minerals. It's actually the best kind to use. So good, so good. Hmm. There's a section, ah, oh, here you go. We got a salted caramel. I like, this is the brand that I use, the Jordan Skinny Syrups. I have this one at home too, the, the caramel pecan. I still have that one, but they're sea salt and caramel and this big one is the best. There's a Tarani one also, so unless they're sugar-free, strawberry. There's a salted caramel. I haven't tried this brand. Le Artisans of Coffee. That kind of sounds fancy. Just make sure. TJ Maxx does not have any syrups. Girl, what kind of shenanigans is that? And it's sucralose, so we're good there. Maybe I'll try this brand, salted caramel, because I like... What else do they have? Mocha. See, mocha, sugar-free mocha. It's really good. Coconut. I already own the coconut. Um, yeah. Oh, this one's Il Molino brand. I know they're from New York restaurant, I guess. I don't know. I love the salted caramel, so I don't know which one to get, but hmm, they're both $3.99. I'll try this one. I love salted caramel. That's probably my favorite flavor. I used it, but I liked it because it was a big bottle like this. It was more, well, actually it's the same. I didn't realize it was the same amount. But this is the brand that I always get is the Jordan Skinny Syrups. And our, this one is $4.99 and this one is $3.99. But this is my favorite. But or I get a bunch of these. People must be like onto them because look like they're hardly any. Usually there's like a plethora of them. Hmm. People are onto the sugar-free craze, guys. They are onto us. Onto us. All right, that's all I really need, but sure they're not hiding anywhere else. You just gotta look, because sometimes, you know, they'll have them in two places. See, there's more syrup over there. I don't know what kind of syrup is there? I don't know what kind of syrup that is. Kona, now that's strawberry moaning. Italian roast, six dollars for cheap yeah keto nation you're gonna be at home goods today girl i know i love my Keurig too i just i've had my Keurig for a while since we moved into the house oh they have the spray okay that's another one that i use i don't know if it's avocado spray though hang on i'm just trying to squeeze myself in here <laughs> What is it? Oh, it's, I don't know about the safflower. No carbs, but it's a, an oil spray. It's this brand, I just get the avocado one, but this is coconut, safflower, and avocado instead of Pam, because Pam is like chemicals. This is just pure cooking oil. It's just organic safflower, avocado, and coconut oil. No chemicals, propellants, or preservatives. So this brand is what usually, and this is, $4.99 here, but this is a good alternative to like Pam because that's at least real. It's, you know, if you're doing your keto spray, they even have the organic apple cider vinegar here, which I always use as well. Oh, there it is. They were hiding it from me. See? Salted caramel mocha. Mm hmm. I told you. <laughs> They're going to be hiding it in like 
seven spots and they have more of the avocado spray oil too guys so that's another good one to use for cooking instead of pam so it's not like chemicals and there's avocado oil i only cook with avocado oil now it's got a high smoke point so you could cook a lot of things with it like i like it better than olive oil olive oil is not bad too but if you're on keto and you're definitely trying to get more fats remember you need your healthy fats avocado oil and coconut oil are your best friend so I'll get the salted caramel milk. I'll get two of these just because they're... But usually TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, I'm sorry. You don't have one at your house, girl. I can't believe it. Shenanigans. Why? And I'll see if they have Yetis and stuff. I swear I'm something else I needed and I can't remember what. Pyrex. Oh, I found the tray here like to make bagel tops, like the muffin top pan. Um, keto bagels is what I use that for. Huh. Don't they have like the Yeti section? Hot mess. Hot mess, guys. That's cute. Home goods is deadly. I don't even know why I try. Who else loves home goods? I know, be out fast. I did, Joe, I did. Um, I'm not gonna go to the parks at all today because I was out till the crack of dawn, but definitely tomorrow night, maybe. I do have a, I have to work a double tomorrow, so. Um, I wasn't supposed to. I was only supposed to work daytime. Um, yeah, Joe, I would love to, but I got to spend the day with Rob and, and do errands and such because I just haven't had time to do any of my errands, but I would love to. I need to do it maybe Monday. We have to hang out before you leave because you're leaving Thursday. So Monday and Tuesday for sure. Let's definitely do that. Um, Pam is still here, so Pam's going to probably hang out with us on Monday. So that'll be fun too. Ooh, happy Halloween stuff. Cool. But yes, we definitely need to uh, do that. Yes, I cannot tonight, unfortunately. I'm not headed down that way. I'm sorry, but I missed you last night. It was like the best stream ever. It was such a good, amazing night. It was crazy. It's probably the highest ratings we've had. We had over, I guess it clocked in at over 800 viewers at one point, which is amazing. And we had over 10,000 views right after we finished that stream, just like right off the bat. I was like, wow, that was amazing. <laughs> that was a really, really fun stream. But we're doing it again on the 24th, so it'll be fun. It'll be fun. We'll do like hopefully more characters and stuff since so we can get to see any of the lines were so long. Yeah, TJ Maxx is like a mother load. I love it. Home goods. I know, that view count though. Yes, I'm glad. I figured you were hanging out with your friends and stuff. I said, oh, he's got to hang out with them. Said he knows where to find me if you need to find me. You know, Pam was shopping because I knew that was her priority. I'm like, girl, got to go shop, buy what you want. She loves to shop. I said, just come back and do the shows. Or I said, she, can, she said, you're just going to watch the stream and catch like the shows and stuff. Yes, we're growing the Ohana. We definitely have to grow awesome ear, <laughs> my awesome ear sums. We need to grow ear sum emporium as well. We're close. We're really close. I think we're like 30, under 30 away for, from 800. So we're almost there. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. A lot of Halloween stuff. Oh, there you go. Turvises and Yeti. Not like I need another Yeti in my life, but I love Yetis. Oh no, I agree. Yeah, Joe, it was so busy. We definitely need, um, oh, I know, I know. I thought you went, I couldn't go that day on Thursday. I thought you, you had gone for sure. And what are we doing this week? I'm trying to think. So Monday... Tuesday should Tuesday's another party night, but it will be at Epcot on Tuesday. Wednesday, maybe we could do DHS on Wednesday, or we could do yeah, we could do studios on Wednesday. I mean, the ladies like Beth goes to studios a lot because that's her favorite park. She always like um, watches the Citizens of Main Street and stuff. She likes the she loves the Citizens of Hollywood 
folks, but I know she's at the studios a lot. But yeah, we'll have to try to do that again this week if you guys want for sure. Um, hey, Joshua. Hey, Lisa. Yeah, it's not enough one day, Joe. We definitely need to do like more. That's why I try to go like two or three times just to to go. <laughs> oh yeah, we still need to eat. Like the next time we need to do more like characters and more food. Cause I posted that list on Facebook, the link to the Disney article of all the snacks. So I definitely want to try all of the, uh, the deliciousness going on there. Cashier number eight, please. Hi. <laughs> all right, hang on. Let's just pay for these syrups and get back in the car. Cashier number two, please. Is this over here, man? Oh, I'm sorry. Hot mess over here with these syrups. Hey, hang on, let me just. Uh, yeah. That's it. At uh, 28 cents or 98. Oh, here, out of 20 is fine. I just love those syrups. They're sugar free. Oh, yeah, they're gonna be. The earlier, make sure you guys get them. The first party is always busy because it was media night. You know, everybody was there and first party sold out like it always does. Thank you so much. Thank you, you too. It always does. It's like the best uh, first Halloween party. And then of course, closer to Halloween, I'm sure Halloween will sell out too. All right, it was like eight bucks. Not even, it was $7.98 with tax. Six and a quarter to seven percent is Florida state tax, by the way, depending on the county that you're at, just so you know. But they still have that merch, by the way. I wouldn't panic because they'll leave enough for each Halloween party. They're not going to release everything all for the same day, but they'll have merch for each show, for each party. And remember, you can come back and go purchase like save your wristband save your ticket save your receipt so you can come back if they do release more merch towards october which they did last year um maybe they'll have another magic band closer to halloween where did rob go it's like i'm here i ready Ooh, there's a five below this place is dangerous too it makes you want to buy everything where's rob i don't even see the truck where did the trucky wucky at did he go to the pet store? Hmm. We lost Rob. <laughs> I don't see him parked. It's kind of hard to miss a ginormous truck. That's not him over there. All right, where'd he go? Where's Rob? He's at the pet store, you think? I should have gone live at the pound. I. I didn't think about it. I should have, because we went to three shelters today. I should have sh t taken you guys along with us because uh, you, you would have loved Merlin and his beard. You would have named him Merlin. He was just cute. But of course he was adopted or somebody already had an adoption application for him. And we asked, they're like, oh, you could do a backup application. I said, sure, how often does it fall through? They're like, rarely. Oh my, dang it. <laughs> I would love. You think he's at Petco? I'm trying to see if I see the truck. Where is he? Is he really at the Petco? I'm walking because I bet you that that's where he would be. Mm-hmm. I don't see him told me to hurry up and then he's not here <laughs> let's see up oh, up oh. we're walking towards the petco i think rob may have gone in there we went to two pet stores too like actual shop that sold pets um because there was two downtown that's why we were in this area um there was like the puppy just puppies was one of them and the other one was like the puppy store or something um the one store had like like a special this weekend all dogs were like 3.99 or 4.99 but nobody not nah, they were cute the puppies are cute but nothing like 
jumped out and say, you know, take me home now. I'm trying to see if he's parked over here. Oh, it's just a pet co though. Do I see the truck over there? No. Why did that Rob go? <laughs> Oh yeah, five five and under is good. Yeah. Oh yeah, five below is like a like a dollar store, but definitely nicer things like like because you could you know you get more for like electronics are good. Like you get like you know chargers and stuff like that. Um, there's even makeup. There's you know, like cool things, school supplies, uh, five below is, it's a good store. There's like, it's like a $5 store instead of a dollar store. Uh, I not Rob up there. I don't even go to the five below because it's right there. I don't want him to like, I'm done. Y'all like hurry up. I'm like, okay, I'm hurried. And now he wasn't expecting to be ready. I can't tell where he parked. No idea. No idea. Oh, we'll go to five below then. Fine. Shop. Shop it is. Huh? Don't know where he went. I didn't want to spend three hours in the store. I would, but I didn't. I was really good. <laughs> yeah, this is a new plaza. This wasn't even here a few months ago. The sky is so blind. now. it's like the perfect floor today, today. It's so hot, but it's a good Saturday to run urns. Urns, urns, urns. Yeah, I don't see where he could have parked. Oh, is that him over there in the next county? That could be the truck. Is that Rob over there? I don't know, I think that's our truck over there. Yeah, that's us, way down there. I think that's us, he's not paying attention. Cause it's not, it's quite like a distinctive shade of burgundy. Oh, they're having one there soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, like the puppy mill um, pups. That's what people say. Don't buy. Um. I'm going here. So they get a lot of cute stuff. Oh, look, puppy bed for five dollars. Dream and believe. Ooh, blankets. I like cute stuff in here for like five bucks. Like good for back to school, for dorms. Like if you have college kids going back to school, even kids' rooms and stuff, trash cans and stuff. I mean, these are all cute. Just little accessories and things. Oh, clear backpack. Look at that. Five bucks. Maybe I'll find an Eda backpack. Not quite clear, but an Eda backpack would be nice. I really like that Eda backpack, and I'm like, but 40 bucks, though? Hmm. Ooh, so shiny. Let's see what kind of Disney things they have here. Back to school. Absolutely. Yes, Neverland will tell you that. Yeah, it could be like puppy mill pups, and it could be unhealthy. Earbuds, speakers, glow sticks. Oh, there you go. We could get that for glow nights or something like that, like a cool nighttime event. Toys. Yeah, they're little speakers. Wireless shower speakers for $5. That's cute. Toys, yeah, a lot of school supplies for a dollar, sharpeners. Um, yeah, we have tax-free week here in Florida, too, which is awesome. Um, you got, like, your faux, faux slides, but, hey, they're slippers, man. Why not? You got the waterproof pouches you can take to the water park. Exactly. Oh. 
Disney be like, how many shades of lip gloss do you need, girl? Um, they're all different shades of nude, but all different. Magnets. School supplies for days, but it's, it's cute. I mean, they got a lot of things in here. Maybe you can find some Disney things. Oh, look at that. Candy for days, you guys. Candy for the next, like, million years. Tech. They've got tech. Phone cases, iPhone 876, Galaxy S9, S8, iPhone 876, iPhone SE. I don't know if they have any 10 yet. Phone and GPS mounts. Well, that's not a mount, that's just like covers, glass covers. I mean. Cases, lightning cables, wow, $5. $5 lightning cables, there you go. Can't beat that, you can never have enough lightning cables in your life if you don't have access to an Amazon account, which is definitely cheaper. Power banks to take to the park, that's really good too. A puppy mill is where unscrupulous breeders breed dogs for the purpose of profit alone. So they're not taken care of, they don't probably have good genetic breeding, a lot of inbreeding. They're not really concerned about their safety or their health. So they're probably really sick puppies and they're just keep breeding and breeding them just for money. Cause you know, it's like a pop socket, a faux pop socket. But yeah, it's like unscrupulous breeders who only breed puppies. They don't care about like their health and the conditions. They live in deplorable conditions. Like it's dirty. They don't get fed well. They're like living in poop and they're like unscrupulous breeders basically. They just use, they're using the puppies just for money. They're not like, they don't care. Like if they're healthy, they're sick, they just, they don't take care of them. Yeah, that's puppy mill puppy. Like they don't come from a reputable breeder. So a lot of these like pet stores try to get them cheap from places like that and then sell them for thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah, puppy mills are like, you know, they don't want you to support those. I mean, if you're gonna go to a direct breeder, go to the actual breeder, go visit their farm or their home, like they should be able to show you the parents like that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Heavy duty, say I bought one of these and they don't really like stay on there good. But there's just in a pinch. Yeah, probably not a place to go get poppy. Exactly, miserable dogs have bad reputations. Exactly, exactly. There is fun, you're right, Linda. There's a ton of stuff here, headphones. Cute. I mean, they're like faux beats, books, becoming Beyonce. Oh, there you go. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's like a nicer like dollar store, but I love the dollar store too, you know. You never know what you're going to find. That's why I got cute stuff for like your room and, you know, for girls, kids, just decorations and stuff to make your bed canopy. I mean, come on now plush a lot of animals tie yeah a lot of cute things in here yeah i know they have one in like a lot of places have one now makeup they got wet and wild wet and wild's always been a good brand anyway i've done, i've seen some youtube uh youtubers do like five below makeup and they've found some interesting things you never know what you're gonna get but you know certain brands you're gonna luck out pro artist palettes got some bronzing kits but if you're like just starting out with makeup and you're on a balling on a budget you know why not we all started off with like dollar store like you know not even drugstore like cheap makeup lashes for five dollars nail polishes gosh they got a lot <laughs> hair stuff Hmm. They got t-shirts, y'all. Oh, boy. Ears. Sorry, that's Rob. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Neverland. Sorry, Rob was calling us. I said, um, yeah, waiting for you. Sweating over here. <laughs> said, I'll come out when you're ready. Because it's hot. Oh, Rob's right there.
Yeah, now we're busted. Well, I said I was waiting. I was hot staying in here for 10 minutes. No, it's true. Wet and Wild's come a long way. There's like certain stuff that's excellent for Wet and Wild. Like, just really, really good. Um, their brushes, they came out with these white brushes. Yeah, I was in and out. That's why I was like, right, I walked by the pet store. I thought you were over there. Then I walked back. No, I'm sitting in the shade. Oh, because I'm like, I bet you're in the pet store. I don't know. It is hot, so I was like, let me go in the five below because some some folks don't have a five below where they live. It's a five below. Five below, it's like a nice, nicer dollar store, but there's a lot of good finds in there. You know, if you need something. Car holders, like, you know, cases. You don't want to, and chargers, five bucks. If you don't have access to Amazon or you, you need it now. I need it now. Now, that's right. See, there were witnesses. We were ready. Like, you were out early. I said, yep, I was in and out. Went in, went out. I have an annuity, but I need cash no. now. <laughs> we're going to sing commercials, infomercials, and jingles. Oh, we're on Orlando Avenue. Yeah, Rob's going to go to, uh, what is it on Enzian? What are they playing? Uh, Enzian, it's uh, Summer of 84. Summer of, I don't think I've ever seen that movie. Yep, this is like all downtown Orlando. You got a cat from PetSmart. Cool, King Ranch. No, it is a Laramie Longhorn. A Dodge Ram Laramie Longhorn. He's very pretty. Mm. I love the interior of the shark. This is probably my... Oh, really? Yeah, Dude. it's pretty. <laughs> it is very, very pretty. That's what, like, fell in love with Boston Market. They all closed down. No, not all. A lot of them did, though. Most yeah. of them. You were seven minutes behind, yep. It's got all like the the fun detail on the seats and stuff. Like it's got the cute little fancy schmancy stitching. Yeah. yeah. It's a Laramie Longhorn. And the nice thing is it had vent in the back and a lot of plugs because mom was like, what do we, oh, at the Sierra? No, the up oh, here we found her, we, Picked up her paw print, Shayla's paw print. We gotta bake it. So I am showing on the paw print anyway. Yeah. Yes. Thanks. Yeah, that's the fancy Dodge. Isn't it through top of the line? It is. Uh, I think it's one below. It's one below the top, tippity top, top. But it had the right color and the right interior because I like the burgundy. Like the last truck was gray. So, but we looked at GMCs again and Chevys and Fords. And of course, the only Ford Rob like is a Raptor, and that's like seventy five thousand oh, dollars. I liked the other ones, but they the were King Ranch. It was the, the comparable level of trim in a Ford was like ten to fifteen thousand dollars more expensive. Exactly, but you know, so we went with a Dodge, and we went to New Smyrna to get it. But I just love how like the interior is to the um, what do you call it? The steampunk. steampunk. Yeah, the it just looks cute. It's just different, different than any other interior I had seen. And it's, it's pretty, it's burgundy. <laughs> yeah. Pet smart because of the puppy mill puppies. Oh, what is it? Enzian. Oh, the Enzian Theater. Oh, it's coming up right here. This is like a theater that. A little independent theater. Independent theater has a little bar. You can even watch movies out on the grass. They have a little, um, like. We're no going there Sunday, 826. Oh, yeah, for what? Princess Bride. Oh, Princess Bride. Okay, that's on the Sunday? Oh, I'm off that Sunday. It's the Sunday after the file. Oh, that's a jam-packed weekend then. We have, yeah. Favorite movie. Yes, Rob's favorite movie is The Princess Bride. So we're gonna go watch that on the 26th. So we're basically doing Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, Four Park Stream, and then we'll do the NCN. That's okay, I'll, I'll be like in the movie theater. That's cool, thanks Ruby. If you can't dodge it, ram it. Oh, Neverland, you're so funny. Uh, yeah, it's true, Alice, to have a little independent theater. They do a lot of little, what did we see there last time? We've done a bunch of movies in there. Just like, it, they should do a Labyrinth Day, but they're doing Princess Bride, so for sure we gotta do that. That'd be awesome. What? Yeah. Well, who's going to be playing Jareth? I mean, he, will not be in the sequel. he won't be in the sequel. No. Well, what, what, what kind of sequel is that? I don't know. But 
but they didn't they didn't feel or at least from what I read they didn't feel that it was right to replace the iconic David, David Bowie. David Bowie, yeah, that was going to say that's no. So they're writing around it basically. Uh really? Oh, they're going to ruin it. <laughs> I hope not. I mean Jennifer Connelly's still around, but yeah, I was going to say um who's playing Jareth. I mean, that's kind of important. Black Eyed Fleas. Yeah, no, no, only David Bowie. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like, who? Late, late, Linda. It was like 3.30. Um, I don't know. Like, how are they going to write a story? Like, it's just Sarah and Toby, maybe? Toby grown up? And he's having nightmares about being kidnapped by the Goblin King? I don't know. <laughs> you know? But yeah, you can't replace David Bowie. There's just no way. You want a peanut? <sighs> what uh? Thanks. What movie franchise is famous, or, well, what what sequel is famous for Four. having the largest gap between the the original and the release of the sequel? Oh, I know the answer to that because I just saw it the other day. Yeah, in the Guinness Book of World Records, what movie sequel has the largest gap between the original movie and the part two of the movie? Or the sequel exactly no worries David lightning is like killing it thank you oh thanks for you subscribed oh thank you there is but one goblin king I agree Alice only one David Bowie you can't replace him anybody know yes anybody know about yeah the answer to that question because we just saw it the other day trivia trivia what movie has the longest gap between the original movie and what its movie, sequel? What movie sequel is famous for having the largest gap between its original movie and itself? Right. Is it going to be Avatar? Nope. How well, many years is it? Was it 46? I believe it was 46 years. Yeah. 46 year gap between the 46 original between movie and the, the third. Sequel. Yeah. No, the third. It was a sequel? Okay. A sequel. See, at least you were paying attention. No. Nope. hasn't been the third. No, they haven't had the third. They don't. No, they did. They did the one with the... They did it the... Um... If I say it, then you're going to know the answer. No, it was 46 years from the third, and they said by the fourth, if they make a fourth, they'll all be dead. Because it was the one with, like, Mila Kunis... Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 46 between the third. I think it was 27. But that's not a sequel. That's not a sequel. It's that's a, a whole, prequel. That's a prequel, yeah. That's not a sequel. That doesn't count. Yeah. No. You guys know this. I know you do. What movie company? M MGM. Original was MGM. Yeah, original movie was MGM. Universal owns them now. Yeah, Universal. Okay. Yeah, the sequel, though, is made by Disney, and that's why this is important. Mm, was it made by Disney? Yes. Okay. Oh, you know this, guys. I know you do. Original movie by MGM. Predecessor's title. Well, if I say it, you're going to know. So there's been three movies. Got it. Alice got it. It's Oz. Yeah, it's The Wizard of Oz. Return to Oz with Firuza Bulk, which was released by Disney based on two different books because it wasn't based on the original book. I love Return to Oz, like cult following the Gump. Ozma of Oz was, was based on Ozma of Oz and the uh, the creature. It was the Mom second B. book. Mom B, Princess Mom B and her removable heads. Oh, I love that movie. The Gump, the um, elixir of life or the powder of life that made everything, yeah, the deadly desert, the wheelers. Um, yeah, we were like, oh man, love that movie. Like it didn't do good when it first came out because it was so ahead of its time. That's what they were saying. But now, you know, everything's dark. It was so dark for a Disney movie at that time. But nowadays, you know, everything's all dark and broody. They were just saying all movies now are like that, you know. But back then in the 80s, it was like, ooh, what? Like, it's a dark movie for kids. Yes, it was The Wizard of Oz, The Ret Return to Oz, and then you had Oz Great and Powerful, but that was a prequel. So, but that was 46 years between the original Wizard of Oz and then the third 
between Oz Great and Powerful, but Return to Oz, I guess, is in the Guinness Book of World Records for having the longest gap between movies. You know, so I was like, oh, okay, cool, very cool, something different. But you guys had that, you never gotten that. But yeah, I love Return to Oz. It was a tough one, but it was a Disney movie. So if you haven't seen Return to Oz, maybe some of the younger ones, you guys haven't seen it, because it is an older movie. It came out in what, 85, 86? No. Was it 96 or 95? No, Return to Oz was in the 80s. 80s. It was 86, I think. 86, 85. Because we were, yeah, we were like, gosh, really? But I loved that movie. I honestly did. I mean, it was, I guess if you think about it, it was dark for a Disney movie. But I'm like, you know, why not? <laughs> but I loved Return to Oz. I mean, it's kind of like up there with Dark Crystal labyrinth like that those were kind of like your super cool late late 80s movies that were just amazing you know amazing, amazing. but no costco no. but i think we're done for the yeah, i was 85 but that was our just quick little stream eastbrook stream merchant then i just wanted to say hi to you guys and just running errands today a non-Disney day, but just a couple keto things I wanted to show you and just say hi to y'all. And I will probably see you guys. I won't see you till Monday because I have to work tomorrow. I'll be at Disney, but I'll be working. <laughs> so, brunch, brunch. Tomorrow's brunch. Um, Actually, today's the first day of brunch on a Saturday. They're doing Saturday brunch now. So, you know, if you're making it to Disney and you can only be at the spring Saturday then they do brunch on Saturdays now too. So it's kind of a new thing. So everybody's got to pitch in. So I'll be there all day till 9.30 at night tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 9.30 at night. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's going to be another long day. Thank you, Sandy. Well, thanks for hanging up. Yeah, I was just sh shopping. I'm glad you had fun. This is just an easy breezy little life in Orlando vlog like stream just to show you guys. Well, bye, the here. Say goodbye, honey. Bye, y'all. Goodbye, yo. honey. <laughs> I will see you Monday for Magical Monday. Joe, we should meet up for sure before you go, Monday and Tuesday. Because I didn't get to see you at the party at all. You're hungry now. Go eat. So we'll see you guys that are subscribed. If you guys aren't subscribed already, share, share, share. We're almost to 800 subscribers on the channel. Let's do it. I want to do this 1,000. I should probably do an 800 giveaway to get that going. All right. Well, it's now it's your turn to make some magic or be awesome. Share, like, subscribe. I love you all, and I will see you guys again on Monday. Bye.